the Philippines, rituals exist in the regions because of a certain need, such as the need to obtain order and harmony in the individual village or community. There is a belief about the interrelationship of man, nature, and the spirit world and that balance must be maintained to achieve the state of order and harmony. The bailan or priest or the babailan performs the rite. In other rituals, the shaman, a shear, or a healer acts as an intermediary between man and the spirit world using the art of magic. Stretching further, rituals are found in ordinary everyday life. Even personal daily routines undergo a process of ritual like the ritual of preparing for a school or washing the hands. The family has social rituals for greetings, the beso for friends, and pagmamano, a respectful greeting of children to their elders. Artists need physical materials to work on. They are the means by which the artists make their feelings or thoughts visible. Through them, they transform their idea or experience into something tangible in order to be received by their audience, viewer, or listener. In the past, materials for Filipino art forms have been clearly defined. Paper and pen or a typewriter for the literary artist, paint, paper, or canvas for the visual artist, an instrument or a musical sheet for the musician. Some art forms call for Western-made materials and tools that are expensive. Filipino artists have devised alternative materials of them because they are part of classical art forms. Materials for visual design come in two forms, the support and the medium. The support may refer to the primary material of which the work of art is made, example, paper, canvas, stone, or textile. The secondary material, example, paper glued or mounted on cardboard, textile over wood. The medium stands for the substance applied to the support, like crayon, paint. For example, in music composition and the literary arts, the support is the paper and the tangible medium is ink. When it comes to choosing their materials, Filipino contemporary artists do not conform to any fixed standard. For instance, some have found objects that can be used as materials for assemblage and installation art and as musical instruments. The late Levi Silerio, national artist for music, was fond of using a leaf with his lips in humming musical tune. Various musicians and bands use alternative materials today. A number of Filipino bands that play with unconventional musical instruments like bamboo have emerged. One of them is the Banda Kawayan Pilipinas, formerly known as the PUP Banda Kawayan. Because of the band's ingenuity, their music is recognized not only in our country but in other countries as well. The rondalia, an ensemble of string instruments played with a pick, is popular in the regions. It is a carryover from our Spanish heritage but has evolved with instruments made from indigenous Philippine wood. Traditional musical instruments in some regions are still being used today. Some musical instruments from the mountain province are the gangsa, played in the Cordillera region, kaleleng or tangali or nose flute made of bamboo, the tongatong, a bamboo percussion instrument used by the Kalinga people, the sulibaw, a hollow wooden piglet drum topped with pig skin, and the ulibaw or juice harp. In Mindanao, the kulintang is a set of gongs placed on a narrow supporting table played in particular by the Maranao and Maguindanao people. The kutyapi is a two-string lute played by the Maguindanao people. Filipinos are indigenous. They are adept at holding tools and using materials in different ways. They are also intuitive. They know that materials can be formed and fashioned in diverse ways and applied to their work with varying results. Experimentation and innovation are parts of the Filipino artist's daily life.